Now let's look at some more properties of auto layouts. Let's try create a navigation um, using auto layouts. Okay, so let's assume this is a, a navigation for the desktop. So I'll have a logo. I will have a set of navigation list. So this is my logo. Okay, we'll get all the elements first. Logo. Then I have this navigation, which will be let's say shirts. Uh, or sorry t-shirts jeans footwear and accessories okay so i have this four navigation links and then at the end we we want uh, i'll keep it separate we want Cart and wish list. So cart and wish list. Okay. So each of these will first be, um, it will be one section. So I have a logo. I have this navig navigation section. Uh, because these are four items, I'll select this and I will first put it to auto layout. So this is one individual auto layout. Okay. Let's reduce the spacing in between so that our navigation is not too far from each other. Okay. Now I have these two. Uh, this will be at the extreme right corner. So I will uh, select these two and give it an auto layout. I have selected. You can see that I can just I can click on this plus sign and give it an auto layout. So here is the auto layout. I will change the space to 60 to maintain that consistency like this okay so this one frame i have the second frame and then we have this logo so logo is an independent element now these three things okay i will select all of these and i will create an auto layout right click add auto layout okay as you can see everything is now sort of aligned but we want logo at the extreme left we want the navigation in the center and we want the wish list and cart on the extreme right so how do we do this let's do one thing let's take a frame and first let's uh, take a desktop screen now i will move my header frame here this is my header okay now firstly i need to change the whites to something darker okay okay and now let's also I'll select this darker grey okay, and also increase the size. Now as I increase the size it is also auto adjusting the spacing in between like we saw um, as one of the properties with auto layout. So this will adjust everything automatically. Now here this spacing is between the frames. Can you see? As in between individual uh, auto layout. So this is one element, this is second element, third element child 1, child 2, child 3 and this is the parent so uh, right now we will keep it to 40 ok what we will do is we want this width ok we want a complete width we will spread it to here ok and we will center line with center line this thing with the desktop so it is equally spaced now ok now how do you spread it across using auto layout so there is this additional property that auto layout provides you can click on these three dots okay this is an advanced auto layout setting click on this and the first option says spacing mode right now it's packed as you can see my uh, parent frame parent auto layout frame uh, has a bigger size but still all the content is stuck to left how we can change this is there is this drop down here click on this and say space between so it will spread out with equal space in between so there is there is an element on the left that will be extremely left aligned the element on the right that will be extremely right aligned and the center alignment will leave equal spacing between these see so it will auto adjust that now let's close this this is how you can arrange um, uh, you can arrange a navigation in this way using an auto layout.